are listening to an exclusive interview. K-S-O-T, the state of trance. Welcome to another 10 questions here on uh, YouTube and Instagram TV. We're the state of trance, of course. And in the studio here, one of my personal heroes from the past and also from the present, I have to say. Thank Mr. You. Marco V, how are you doing, man? Great, thank you. You just uh, played some uh, tunes on the episode from your new uh, series 2020. Yeah. Um, what is different about that if you compare it to the previous stuff you released in 2019? Uh, the big difference is the, the, the tempo. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, 128, 130. So, uh, and I try to create the same energy level on that uh, uh, tempo. It sounded a lot faster than that. Yeah. No, that's, 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 so it, it, it worked? It worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I have uh, 10 questions for you submitted through uh, Instagram by our by our listeners. Yep. Uh, so I hope you're ready for this. Yes, um, let's dive in straight away. At the head 2020 wants to know, what is your main source of inspiration? Oh, yeah, mm. it's... Uh, that's hard. Well, um, I have a... I like a lot of uh, different styles of music. So um, the inspiration coming from everything. At the moment, um, it's it's uh, a lot of techno mm -hmm. that uh, I, I like to listen to now at the moment. So um, the new Vision 2020 project is also uh, a lot of techno-driven sounds uh, combined with uh, trance. I think techno is also becoming a little bit more like trance was a couple of years ago. Like yeah. if you say techno, you can go from um, 124, 120, I don't know, even slower. Um, all the way up to 150, 160. Yeah. So, what kind of techno are you really into? Like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because well, it's such uh, a broad uh, thing right now, yeah, just like yeah. trance. Yeah, it, it is, it is. But uh, it's the, the melodic trance, mm -hmm. I say. But um, at the moment, uh, there's a lot of music that's uh, categorized as techno. For me, it's trance. Mm -hmm. It's it's a new way of trance or or, and, uh, or hard trance. If you listen to this harder techno, the melodies, it's, it sounds like hard trance to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they call it techno at the moment. Okay. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Uh, the next one comes from Elena69 Luca. Who is your favorite producer and why? My favorite producer? Yeah, the, I don't have a really uh, like a favorite producer uh, that I listen to all the time. So it's, it's different. Um, if but you're if you're on an airplane, for example, what is your go-to music that you listen to on an airplane oh, that you inspires don't wanna, you? You don't, you don't want to know. I actually want to know. That's why we're here. <laughs> no, no, it's it's everything, but but not 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 dance music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 pop and and, and hip hop and just uh, the regular stuff. Just and 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 it's it's good to listen to other music. You know, um, if you listen only to dance music, dance music, dance music, you go into the studio, you like you're narrow-minded. You know. So, um, yeah, that's also uh, uh, something that I get inspiration from. And what kind of hip-hop do you listen to? Like Public Enemy and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, the old school. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I figured that out. <laughs> it's nice. Um, Shamel83 wants to know, what are your favorite two tracks to blend? Ooh. Which tracks fit perfectly together in your sets? Or... I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I have idea. If, if, if I go to my record box, I yeah. will. At the moment, let's yeah. uh, let's rephrase this. Do you do you have a special set in the past that you you, you mix two tracks together and you were like, wow, that transition was like, right now I'm the best DJ on the planet. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have. No, I always look to the new challenges. You know, uh, I don't play that much two tracks the same on after each other. You know, it's, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the crowd. I, I'm sorry, but I, I can't tell you. It, it probably will be some tracks that are, that really fits together because I'm DJing for so so long already. But mm -hmm. um, no, I can't tell you the no no at the moment I can't think about it. Yeah, uh, Martin de Jong. Hey, nice Martin. to see a question from him. <laughs> um, ever thought of bringing back the Vision series? Those tracks are still a big inspiration to me. Well, well here, here we are. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, uh, you can obviously hear that Martin de Jong is really in inspired by by your sounds because he's also in between all genres and also yeah. lo looking at crazy um, crazy sounds that he put together it's really cool so maybe you inspire him again with this series that he goes down well, in the tempo yeah could be because you can uh, get what I say a lot of a big uh, energy level as well on a, on a slower BPM yeah. as long as the so, groove is there yeah but it's easier uh, you don't have to put 
uh, so much elements in it. So if you play it on a big system, the speakers have more room yeah. to to breathe. To breathe, yeah. So it's it's coming in hard. Nice. Uh, this is going to be a really hard question. Merkul wants to know: God or simulated? Um, I think simulated. Yeah. Why? Because it's um, I have no idea. Just a, a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. But I played. I also. I think I played more simulated in my sets than I ever played God. Yeah. Why? Because especially the word God doesn't can be sensitive somewhere in some some yeah. countries as well. And it's uh, sometimes uh, I play. Um, an earlier set and God's is pretty hard. Yeah, I simulate fits in everything. You can play it in a, a daytime set, uh, after hours. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And God is more. Yeah, it's, it needs to be peak time, and um, so okay. that's the reason maybe. But I like them both. I remember that you played God at uh, Sensation White. Yeah, I think it was still an ID ID back then. Yeah, also simulated. Simulated also, yeah, in the same set. Yeah, and Tom Craft Loneliness and Kamaya Painters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still remember. It was a, yeah, it yeah. was a, it was a good time. Yeah. Uh, John Scad wants to know what would you say is your best production tip? Here comes Professor Marco. Best production tip? I think uh, make what you really like yourself and doesn't don't listen to other people. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to tell myself all the time as well. Especially now with my new stuff, like this is what I like. This is what I'm stand for. Don't listen to if if. Obviously, I like everybody that they like my new sound, but I continue with this sound even if people don't like it. Yeah. I will go straight forward with this. That's what I did back in then in with the, the first Vision series. So uh, I think that's the, the biggest thing. Do what your yeah your heart gives you, mm -hmm. what you sh should produce, and don't listen too much to other people. And how do you deal with your A and R then? Don't because listen I, to him. No. Yeah, yeah, just so you're like a oh, dick, dick the groot. Okay, uh, I do whatever, no, 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 whatever. Okay. Don't, don't, don't listen to the A now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Um, Tom Evans, ninety six, wants to know what has twenty twenty one got in store for you, besides releasing all these amazing records. Yeah, what does twenty twenty have in store for everyone? No one knows. No one knows. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I want to get into a, a winter sleep or whatever. <laughs> just, <laughs> just hibernate. Get rid of it. <laughs> well, it's, 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 yes and no, of course, because you've been sitting in the studio making a lot of music that, yeah. at least for me, I wouldn't have made if I was always touring. Yeah, yeah, and also uh, I think I, I think and I hope that a lot of producers now start making more music from. Well, I won't say it sounds from cheesy, the heart. From the heart, yeah. It sounds so cheesy, but because you can't play and you can't go out now maybe you get new inspirations and new way of thinking producing music so i hope if that, that, it, that it's it's going uh, a big forward especially in the trance music that we mm -hmm. don't make the same music as the last 20 years yeah but there's new new elements coming into the in, in, in our scene i hope i hope so too uh day Krijfs wants to know cdj or vinyl yeah cd yeah C cd yeah yeah absolutely you know, I like uh, when I did uh, the the vinyl set last year uh, on um, oh, Electronic like family, family. Yeah, it was like, amazing. But then I said, "Oh, this is really hard." Yeah, it's uh, you, you forget what we have now the CDJs that it's so, it's so easy. easy to DJ, and then it was it's, it's really tough. And it's I like the flow, like going to the records. And yeah, and that's all a good feeling. But you know, the easy uh, you, you cut off pieces and uh, you make a small edit because you have a short, short set that night or mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so much easier that the whole um, yeah I, I, I don't want to go back to vinyls no but uh, now Even and then like, uh, like an electronic family in here and there it, it's, it's really nice to get this old feeling back yeah well we uh, I think it was like three or four weeks ago Armin and Ferry did a back to back here in the studio on these players for State of Trends and we saw they were struggling like yeah, the beat, beat matching and I'm pretty sure that if you if you did the same ten years ago, they would have done it yeah, like, yeah, yeah. without any problem. Absolutely. I, I, I did a, I did a couple of uh, final streams myself in the last couple of months, and I had the same. I was like, "This is way harder than than I remember well, back it." Back in the days, it was like peanuts. Yeah, I was like, throwing up a done. record and then like, up, and here we go. And now you need to full like eight minutes of, of yeah, like, <laughs> oh, just oh, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> okay, let's stick to CDJs <laughs> for now. But the sound of vinyl. So and and to be really honest, I'm 
I have been buying a lot of vinyl the last couple of months. Yeah, it's it's good to because have this, it's just, this feeling and this, uh, but it's not practical. The, just think no. about the going flying to America again and then have the struggle of, no. of the hand luggage is too heavy because you have your vinyls, you can't take it along, you need to check it in, you lose your vinyls and you're okay. Don't. And also, um, now you can lose a song, you can play it that night. True. Back in the days you had to, you had to go to that A&R yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> that A&R. <laughs> Convince him that it was a good <laughs> song to get it out. And then, yeah, the whole, the, 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 the white, uh, the white pressing, labels. The pressing, the lockers. And, and you could play it after two months or so. And now you can play the same day. So that's... Uh, that's true. So let's stick to CDJs for now. Um, actually, this is a good question following up on this. Brian Owen Smith, Brian Owen Smith wants to know what's your favorite record in your collection? At the moment? No, ever. Ever? I would, I would just pitch it to the, to the vinyl sides of things. What's your most precious vinyl? Well, yeah, not exactly, especially the vinyl. The, the song is, I think it's Age of Love. The Age of Love. Yeah, yeah it's still, it, I, I really like that song. It doesn't sound that good. No. That, but it's, it's uh, I mean the sound quality, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the whole flow of that track, it's, it's, it's uh, I'm still like Brings that. up a lot of nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. It's also, 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 sometimes it's hard to, to, to know why you like that song as much, because you're thinking back on that period as well. So maybe it's not all about the song, but yeah. also the feeling you have when you hear that song. And uh, I really feel that, that 2020 has been become the year of reworks. Yeah. Is that a, a song that you would dare to touch and make a version of a, a Vision 2020 version of it? Well, it could be, yeah. but uh, I did back in the days, I did a remix yeah. of, uh, of uh, The Age of Love. So uh, I was really honored that mm-hmm. they asked me for that. But uh, yeah, I, I think about, um, actually I did uh, Loops and Things. Yeah. I did an hour Vision 2020 version and it falls like the Vision 2020 version. and. Uh, so I did. I do. I will do more for my own tracks mm-hmm. um, and new mixes that fits better in the sound uh, I play now. Can't wait for those. Yeah. We'll still have to wait for these, especially the last track that you played in the in the guest mix. I really love that one. Uh, last question already. Uh, Penelope C Gibbs wants to know what is an essential item that you have got in the studio. Speakers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Essential, yeah. Is there any um, any really hard to get hardware that you that you have from the past that you still use a lot? Yeah, I, I use a, a tube now and then, like uh, don't say it in English. The amp, you know, you get the, the amp, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so that's that get this distortion uh, analog feel. Mm-hmm. But I don't use it all the time. But it's something I would never ever get out of my studio. You can give me I don't know how much money but that will be there forever are you mostly a, a software guy now or a hardware guy? software software I, uh, I have a lot of hardware and now and then um, I plug in you know like the Moog and everything but it's so hard to get that in a production mm-hmm. if you have a lot of uh, soft synths going in because that sticks out so much then you have to put on a lot of plugins yeah so it starts to sound digital uh, to fit it in that's song, interesting yeah and then yeah there was no sense to get into a get a hardware synth in you know so that's the thing um i find it really hard to put in hardware uh, uh, synths um in, in, in my songs it's interesting i never th- i never thought of that you actually need to yeah, yeah i need you need to go for either all hardware or yeah and i don't mean the percussion but even if you like synths you, and, and the synth if yeah. you have the, the if you get the, every every element from hardware synth I think you, you will be okay, but then that's tough. Yeah. You know, if you get a whole song now, it's only hardware synths, you know, it's have to plug in everything, then it's, it's a, a record down. all the automations and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is, uh, what is uh, well, since we're nerding right now, what is your um, most recent plugin that you've bought? Um, I don't know. No? No. I have uh, so much in, in my studio. Uh, Collected I, all these years. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the June June soft synth. That's one something that I really like at the okay. moment. This, is that the one that you used for most of the leads? Yeah, of yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, the new tracks, is a lot of uh, the the main leads coming from the June. Okay, that's some information I was looking for. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I get home, I'm going to buy that the June. <laughs> no, June sounds really good for uh, for that kind of pads and and and, and uh, lead sounds. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for these ten questions. They weren't that hard, was it? No, 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 no. no. Just some difficult choices here and there. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, make sure to check out 2020. Uh, the first one's gonna drop in a few weeks, and yeah. then every somewhat weeks yeah, there's gonna six be a new one. Something. Normally we would we would release it in four weeks time, but now uh, it will be uh, six weeks in between. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you again, Marco. Thank you. And that's it already for this 10 questions. Make sure to follow the channel right here for another one in the future. See ya. Bye-bye.